Um, this product claims to control frizz, protect, and for speed styling. Um, hey guys, what's up? Today I will be doing a review and demo of the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Blowout Cream. I'm going to start off from the lowest heat setting, which would be the one on my blow dryer. And just using a detangling comb, I'm just going to get all of the moisture out of my hair. For the second part of my blowout, I'm going to put the heat up to the second or the middle heat setting on my blow dryer and I'm going to be using a Denman brush. This is really just because I want to get, number one, all of the tangles out that maybe I didn't get before and also I want to get it as straight as possible. Now I'm almost done blow drying my hair, but really quickly I took it out of all of its sections and I'm just going to comb through it again with my detangling brush. I started the third part of my blowout with the highest heat setting, but the product on the nozzle made the blow dryer start to smoke a little bit and I didn't want to burn my hair. I'm also using a universal comb attachment to my blow dryer. A quick tip is to not use something so fine until your hair is completely dry or you will see a lot of breakage or shedding. So as you can see, after using the Shea Moisture Smooth and Repair Blowout Cream, my hair is almost completely blown out to my liking. I don't get it all the way straight whenever I blow dry my own hair, it never gets all the way straight. But it's close enough and I'm just going in for a protective style. Next I'm going to use the Smooth and Repair High Shine Glosser just to give my hair a little bit of shine. It is from the same line of the Tahitian Noni and Minoy Oil. Hey guys, what's up? So if you have watched the beginning part of this video, then you already saw my demo using the new Shea Moisture um, Tahitian Noni and Manoi Smooth and Repair Blowout Cream. Um, so now I just want to tell you guys my thoughts on it. This product was gifted to me via 4C Hair Chicks. I actually did use this product prior to filming my video and I really enjoyed my results. Um, I thought that my hair, it wasn't super coated with product, but it also wasn't too light, whereas I felt like I wasn't getting any protection from the blow, the heat from the blow dryer. I used, um, the first time I used it, I used the highest setting of heat at the end of my blow dry process. And when I went to wash my hair, my hair reverted right back. It was really nice. And um, the second time I used it, I think there was some product left over on my hair dryer and it was causing it to smoke up. So I only used the second, um, the medium heat on my blow dryer because I didn't want it to like burn my hair and have, you know, a lot of breakage and shedding and stuff like that. Um, but like I said, it did prevent a little bit of heat damage. So let me tell you what this product claims to do. Um, it is, it has keratin peptides and botanical extracts in it for wavy, curly, and frizzy hair, which kind of like, you could say like kinky, I don't know, or coarse, you don't have to say we have frizzy hair. Um, but <laughs> this product claims to control frizz, protect, and for speed styling. Um, 
As far as the controlling frizz part, I guess for me, when I blow dry my hair, I never get it to the point where it's like completely blown out straight, especially on the ends. Um, but I will say that like from my roots all the way down to like that last half inch of hair, I would say was very, very smooth. My ends were kind of like still frizzy and coarse, but I don't like to go keep going over them and over them because I don't want to damage them any further. Um, as far as protecting, like I said, the first time I used it, I used the highest heat setting on my blow dryer um, at the end for maybe about three to four minutes, and I did not receive any heat damage. And for speed styling, I don't really know about that because I didn't speed style my hair. I blew dry my hair specifically the second time so that I could install a protective style, um, and you know, that's obviously not a speedy process. Let me talk to you guys real quick about like the texture of the product and everything like that. Um, I did put in my leave-in and my oil before I put this in so it was like a leave-in oil cream kind of situation it wasn't too thick um, it wasn't very um, it wasn't like a super creamy cream it was almost like a very liquidy cream which made it very easy to work with I was able to move it through my hair quickly um, I, w I didn't have to do like a lot of extra working the product into my strands which I really enjoyed um, it smells really beautiful and I think that it smells really nice and I think that it does the job. Do I think that it's a necessary product? Probably not. Um, if you already have something that you use when you blow dry your hair and you think it works great then I would say continue to use that. But if you're looking for something I think that this is a nice product to use. One thing I will say is, and you guys probably already saw this in my products I regret buying video, is that I don't know what Noni and Manoy are. So I did a little bit of internet research to see what Noni and Manoy are. Manoy oil is actually used more for fragrance. It's used when you soak the petals of a certain flower into coconut oil for a period of time. And then Noni oil um, is an oil from a tree you can drink noni juice or is it nani or noni i don't know i say noni but noni oil um comes from a tree and you can use it um for your hair you can use it for medicinal purposes everything like that now my one major qualm with this is that i feel like shea moisture very much prides itself on being like highly organic and natural product and when you're dealing with stuff like keratin, especially for heat protectant, it's hard to do that. But I feel like it is a tad bit misleading to put something like Noni and Minoy oil on the front of your package. But then when I look at the, um, at the ingredients list, it's very far down in the bottom. It's not even close to the first five ingredients. So if you're one of those people that's super particular about your products and if it's 100% natural or you know made out of juices and berries, this is not. But like I said, it got the job done and I thought that it was a fairly decent product. Out of five stars, I would probably give it, um, I'd probably give it four. I would take off the one star just because, like I said, the Noni and Minoy oil are touted as like, this is Noni and Minoy. But then when I get to the back of the ingredients list, um, I don't really see that down there. And I'll try to put the ingredients list down in the description box if you guys are interested. This product is solely available, I believe, at Target. I have not seen it in my Targets as of yet, but I also do not live in a super brown girl friendly area. Um, so like I said, you can find this in Target, exclusively at Target. If you guys are interested in trying this, let me know. If you guys have tried this blowout cream and you liked it, or even if you didn't like it, please let me know down in the comment section below. There will also be other 4C Hair Chick vloggers that will be reviewing this product, and I will try to link them down below if I can find um, their product reviews by the time I put this up. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thanks again. Bye, guys.